Hey guys, I just wanted to give you kind of a quick tour of my backyard railroad gate here, uh, hopefully before the uh, storm here kicks in. Um, what I have here is a uh, railroad crossing gate. The gate mechanism is made by SafeTran. I'm not sure the exact model number of it. Uh, the base is a WRRS base. Uh, the pole is the same. The lights are 8 inch safe tran lights. I've um, got them both, uh, both directions there. Uh, the gate is a newer model one with the uh, vertical uh, reflective tape. And then I have the LED lights that go on the gate as well. Behind me here, this is actually the control box for the railroad crossing gate. It is a old Econolite cabinet that I have wired up so the little uh, front police door here actually controls the gate mechanism. You have your main power on and off switch here. This controls the, the sequence. Uh, this is just a red indicator light. Let me know that the power is on that's running. When actual 12-volt uh, power is applied to the unit, um, this light will flash. This one is a toggle switch for the bell. I have um, it wired up for a bell. However, I do not have one on the light as of yet. And this last one is an override for the gate to go up and down. So when I flip the uh, sequence on, I have uh, these little lights here that will uh, indicate the uh, light uh, flashing a... Flashing, uh, pattern for that. I've got the gate on override now so as soon as I flip this switch the gate will drop as you can see. And again the uh, lights will uh, flash also. Uh, also on my gate I want to mention that I've got the cross buck and then I have a two track sign that is also on the uh, top portion of the gate as well. So that is the control switch on the outside. Then when you're done with it, get the gate override up, and that will cause the indicator light to stop flashing once it gets all the way up to the top. And then if I cut power, which I won't because it'll drop the gate, this light here will stop flashing. So that controls the outside. The inside here, give you a quick view of what the inside of this looks like. So I've got my flasher relays on the top and the bottom here. I'm sorry, uh, uh, relays for the gate mechanism. The uh, f I don't I don't actually have a flasher relay, uh, a uh, mechanical one. I'm looking at getting one, but in the meantime, I have it hooked on a solid state flash unit, which is located right there. Um, so power comes off, it goes off into the appropriate uh, channels, uh, switch. That indicator light also means that there is um, power going to the unit as well. Everything is being fed off of this 12 volt power supply unit here that came off an old pipe organ, um, but it supplies the required voltage for the unit. And again, the relays right there, and everything goes to the gate uh, or the door in the front for uh, operating the gate. But as you can see, when I yeah. When I operate the gate mechanism, the relay for the flasher will operate these uh, lights right here. That just kind of a just kind of an indicator light for right now. But you can hear the click click of the electronic relay there. Um, but yeah, everything is mounted. Um, I have a concrete base that goes. Uh, a couple feet to the ground and all the conduit and everything has been ran into the gate as well. So yeah, uh, just kind of kind of a quick overview on my gate setup. I uh, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Appreciate it. Thanks.